A big thank you to the guys at We Are Stoke for sponsoring my match day vlogs this season. You can check them out on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook, linked in the description. Hey up guys, Hobby SFs here and today I've got quite a special video. Today I'm going to be in doing a little Q&A with Sam Klukas. I'm really excited, um, yeah, let's just get into it. Alright guys, so I'm joined by Sam Klukas, hey, how okay. are you Nick? Yeah, so we're at the soccer camps for younger children playing football. So what attracted you to becoming a midfielder? And um, who, what advice would you give to younger midfielders? Uh, well, originally I started out as a striker. Uh, when I was uh, young, I was with Leicester for seven years. And I was a striker then. And then when I got released, um, I was only small. I haven't fully developed then but by the time I got released at 16. So I, everyone just kept telling me I was too small, too small. So I ended up just going and playing local football early and joining the college team. And that's when I started playing midfield really because uh, the college team wanted me to play. Obviously, I, I played at a good, a good standard. And I, was, I was fairly good at football back then, so they used to say, "Right, we just play midfield for us." And I just started playing midfield, and then really from there, I just ended up staying as a midfielder. Even though now I get passed around many positions, yeah. my, my main position is midfielder. So you've been playing at Stoke City for just over a year. What's your personal highlight at Stoke? Uh, yeah. I'm trying to think. To be honest with you, I would say probably my debut to be honest because I just signed here and it's just a frustrating time for me really because uh, I just had a new operation in the, in the summer before when I was at Swansea and I signed injured and it was frustrating because I obviously signed and I wanted to go out there and play and I didn't get a chance to go out there and play straight away and I missed probably four months of the season uh, being out injured so just to get out there and finally get my debut really just I feel like way up forest when I made my first game. So it's nice to get, finally get out there and make my debut. So I'd, I'd probably say, yeah, because I had, like I said, I had frustrating, frustrating four months really trying to get back fit and, and wanting to play for, especially for a team I just signed for. Yeah. So, other than football, what's your favourite sports or hobbies to do in this class? Uh, probably golf. I play a lot of golf now. Fortunately enough, as a footballer, you get quite a lot of spare time in the afternoons. It's really, really train morning, so in the afternoons I have to fill my time or something. So. Even though the weather's turning a little bit now, it's not probably right to go and play golf. I, I really enjoy playing golf, so uh, if it's not playing it, I'm probably watching it to be honest. So who was your football idol when you were growing up and how they, did they inspire you to want to play football as a career? Yeah, that, uh, like I said in the previous interview, my earliest memory really was going to watch my dad play football when I was young on a Saturday and Sunday, so that was what probably got me into the game of football then, wanting to go out and play with my mates do what he was doing but growing up probably a professional hero with probably poor skulls just you know, the whole ginger looking like thing and he was a centre at the time and I just used to enjoy it really, really enjoying playing for it playing for England and Man United so I'll probably say so can you name me Sam Klukas' dream five-a-side team one goalkeeper one defender one midfielder and one striker and obviously we've got you in there as well question goalkeeper goalkeeper I would probably say I might get dug out if I don't say the Stoke players now. Um, goalkeeper, <laughs> I would say Fabianski. Yeah. My time at Swansea, really good, really good goalkeeper. Uh, his feet as well. So him, how many defenders do I need to name? One. One defender. I'd probably say Michael Dawson when I first signed for Hull. I remember watching him in the Premier League and playing. He's a top quality player, even nicer guy off the pitch as well, and a proper captain. If you ever wanted a captain, he'd be the guy, so I'd definitely say him. Midfielder? Midfielder, yeah. Midfielder, I would say Tom Huddleston. Uh, technically, he's the best player I've ever seen live, with both feet as well. And he helped me massively. The games I got to play with him in centre mid helped me massively. Not because he was just a good player, but he's talking as well. He always tells you where the spare players are on the pitch. He does half of your job for you. So I'd say him. Um, Striker, 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 or a winger. Played against, I say I just want to play against. Yeah, sure. yeah I'll say Rooney. Rooney. I want Rooney in there, yeah. I'm fortunate enough to play for Rooney. And I always say a story, the first time I played him, I was never mind that. But I played him when I was at Hull and I remember looking, waiting in the tunnel, we was out first and they come out and he was captain and I turned around. And then in my head something went, I just went Rooney, even though I knew we was playing Man United. And I had to turn and take a second look and then I was like, 
just done that for like, and bats play against him, you know what I mean? It was just like, that's probably one of the only times I've actually, like, well, he's the only time I've actually ever done that. And, so, he's obviously a big hero of mine growing up and watching, being a big fan of him. Right? So, I'd probably say him. Yeah. Uh, thank you for your time, Sam. Good luck for the rest of the season. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Much. Cheers. So yeah, there was the interview with Sam Klukas. Um, yeah, I just want to say again a massive thank you to everyone that's got me in a position to be able to do stuff like this. Uh, again, a massive thank you to the club um, for inviting me down uh, in, to um, to interview him. Uh, another big thank you to uh, Sam Cam uh, for getting the second angle. Sam Cam's link will be in the description as well. Um, yeah, I think we're also all going to be on the big screen on Monday uh, against West Brom. Not sure whether it's going to be before the match or at half time, uh, but yeah, that's that's uh, quite cool. And again, I want to say a massive thank you to everyone that's put got me in a position to do stuff like this. Uh, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed. Subscribe for more down below. Uh, drop a like if you enjoyed, and uh, yeah, see you on Monday for our game against West Brom. Come on, Stoke.